them are within me. I want to be in you. I want to be in you. The gifts of repentance. The Bible says, Vengeance shall be in my world. The Bible says, I shall eat with it of the Gentiles. The Bible says, I wish above all that may stop my being held. The Bible says, And the Lord shall supply all my needs and all my Prosperity is coming to your life tonight. You cannot remain the way you are before again because you are born to achieve. You are an achiever, you are not a beggar. <laughs> instrument in Jesus name we pray amen in Jesus name we pray amen the Bible says what to him that decree or righteous decree hello sir hear me sir Evil decree working against your potential. You are oh. going to ask the Lord, oh God, I destroy it. I've told you before we started prayer, prayer tonight. It's a war against poverty. It's a war against darkness. It's a war against darkness. That is why we are praying. Everything for that him is that you are free. Everything against your potential. Working against your advancement. Working against your prosperity. Working against your Every evil decree backfire. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord and pray. Call upon the Lord and pray. Your place of war. Every evil decree working against your life, God will destroy it out of your place of war in the name of Jesus. Your potential will come alive. Call upon the Lord. As the Spirit of God is leading me tonight, I don't need to lead this prayer. It was an hour before the prayer, the Lord began to lead me to this prayer meeting tonight. It is upon your hour for you to advance the line. Poverty must die, must be eradicated. Whatever is working against you in your place of work, you will be provoked. That level you are for all these years is your turn for you to be remembered, to be lifted up already. Every opposition in your place of work. Is it your supervisor opposing your life? Are people looking for fault in your place of work? And they want to dismantle you in your in your place of work? And they are trying to this you, your place of work, writing letter, petitioning you. It is not your portion tonight. God will deliver you. Tonight, God will deliver you. Jesus, okay, we pray. Before I call on Pastor Matthew, finally now, the last prayer point. I want you to pray this prayer point with all your power. Wait, I want to give you now. Please, you should pray this prayer with every energy you have. My Bible says, Jabez was honorable, more honorable than his brethren. For, for, for his brother called him Jabez because the boy was so, 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 so. The Bible says, but Jabez pray. And he said, oh God, that thou mayest bless me in thee. And last, my call. That and the Lord granted thee that which he requested. You are going to pray, Oh God, bless me financially indeed. Remember me and raise up Destiny's helper as you raise up Destiny's helper for Joseph to prison. Oh God, bless me indeed financially, spiritually. Maritally, socially, mentally, in all ramifications. Open your mouth and pray right now. In God God bless you. Jesus, yes, God will bless you. If you don't need for Jabez, he will do your own. If you are the Jabez that we that we that we inherit the prosperity of, the, of this generation. But God, 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 God bless me. 
oh, they, they know we bless you. So be surprised where there will be where there will be credit to our card, one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. Somebody will call you and say, I want to bless you. Or oh, come on, bless you. Or oh, come on, bless you coming upon your life. <laughs> You are going to be remembered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Worship the Lord. Give him the glory to you to today. The Lord has need us. I, I was not made to need this prayer in the But the Holy Ghost. Make me I was talking to the Lord, Lord, Lord and the Lord said, Lord. My people must be blessed tonight. I have delivered what the Lord told me to deliver to this tonight altar. This platform is for you to claim your blessing and you will be with your life. We pray. I call on Pastor Matthew, please, to take over. Pastor Matthew, over the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Um, um, I will divide it. I pray to two tonight. To our time, I'll go in just a minute. We have one for our father in but 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 and then he will do some some Hello, 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 I'm hearing you. So we were there, and then he was sharing a testimony about the, uh, the hello? person he is following. He now ask if I mention the name, you will know two of them. One yes. is in Lagos, the other one is in Abuja. He now ask, why should I not? I'm not available now. I'm available now. I'm available now. God bless my ministry. God bless me. Uh, talk of anything people are having in this world that I do not have. Uh, so it's like, why should I not follow him? Now you look at today's prayer, very, very important. I don't know if you feel the impact in your life. Then the Bible let us know that people will not believe except they see sign. Now look at all what our leader listed. Then look at your life. Let me look at my life. You now call upon the name. Why should I come before you, O oh Lord? That my prayer, that all these things I've listed, will not be taken out of my life. If you go to a rich man, no matter how rich it is, if you have this opportunity to present your case, if it is mercy, there's no way. He will not do something. Now you have uh, uh, we have asked uh, about to come before Almighty God. And we know he is a mercy God. Then why any of this prayer will not work for you, will you not work for me? We now call upon the name of the Lord. The impact of today's prayer, oh Lord, in my wife, in my husband, in my children, in my generation for today. Let them have impact in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, borrowing from henceforth is not part of your life. Your husband's life. It's not part of your wife's life. It is not part of your children's life. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, any causes that is stopping people from growing up financially, materially, academically, that has been affecting you from the from the beginning, but you are discovering just because of today's prayer, open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord, that that is no more in your family. It is not in the traces of your husband. It is not in the traces of your wife. It is not in the traces of your children again in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. 
that in my family we have never seen a bank manager that in my family we have never seen a bit of time that succeeding that in my family we have never seen the owner of a big business that people will recognize that in my family we have never seen anybody that is leading a ministry that yes people will know god is using this particular person that in my family we have never seen anybody that is a bank manager we have never seen anybody that is a successful way that you can say the poverty cannot affect his family again. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. King or King, Lord of Lord. Open the window of heaven. Open it upon my wife. Open it upon my husband. Open it upon my children. From today by the in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thing that never be happen. Thing that is never be happen. The Almighty Father, you show it upon me. You show it upon my wife. You show it upon my spouse. You show it upon my children in the name of Jesus Christ. And of limitation. And of limitation. And of limitation. That in your family. That in my family. Nothing, nobody has ever gone beyond this. That in my family. In my family. That's why I'm even in this situation. I'm managing to eat. I'm managing to drink. But yes, in my family, nobody has ever gone beyond that. Call upon the name of the Lord. That God has opened your sight. God has opened your eyes. God has let you know that with the today prayer, there is nothing God cannot do. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the blood of Jesus Christ, the heavenly mercy, mercy that beyond mercy, mercy glory of man. Mercy that never, nobody can ever sing. Call upon the name of the Lord that we follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you are sleeping, when you are waking up, when you are eating, when you are drinking, big revelation, beyond ordinary revelation, big revelation, beyond human being revelation, big revelation, that this Beyond, call upon the name of the Lord, bestow it upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not continue like this. Just complain today, praying, yes, but there's no impact. Talking, yes, there are no impact. People know me very well that associated with the Lord, but yes, that's still a limitation. Father, 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 I present my household, I present my wife, I present my husband, I present my children before you. All oh, sign of limitation, all oh, sign you have never gone beyond this in my family, all oh, sign you cannot go and sit the lips. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for myself, I pray for my wife, I pray for my children. Elevation beyond human or Understanding and the patient that can never be qualified. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, let it fall upon me. Let it fall upon my wife. Let it come fall upon my children in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will not pray for our prayer meeting. The Bible says, what shall be the benefit of a man if he get all this world and lose the kingdom of, uh, of heaven? Well, how, can, how, can, how can you do it by inviting people to the prayer meeting? Lose their chain. Lose whatever that is troubling them. You know, one day I was in problem. I just, I just, I just went to a, my task preparer, and we were talking. And you see, I don't know if he's a believer or unbeliever, but through our discussion, you can see how I was loose, how I was set free, just because of how he, 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 she is advising me. We will not call upon the name of the Lord. Your neighbor, your friend. Mainly by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, do get to bring them to prayer meeting. This prayer meeting, so that God can enlarge our cause. The Bible says, "Iron sharpen iron." Call upon the name of the Lord in your all your in your all media in your all social media. You will use it for the glory of of uplifting this meeting in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. 
cannot do it yourself. You cannot do it yourself. But if God gives you the grace, if God opens your eyes and see some people you need to invite to the prayer meeting and see some things you need to add our leaders that what about if we do this this will help our prayer meeting and our prayer will grow you are being sowing into the kingdom of God have been sowing into this meeting and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your sowing and activity will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at around yourself as you open, as you close your eyes now. Look at the, your wife, look at your look at your children. Look how many times have you infected them? I, I want to look at your friends, look at those who you cannot stop talking to. How many times have you encouraged them? What are you doing to able to enlighten this meeting? Call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my smile, O Lord. Make me a good resource for the growth of this meeting in the name of Jesus Christ. In your social media, in your place of work, among your friends, among so whosoever, God will use you mightily to open up this prayer meeting in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. If there's any advice, God will help you to execute it. If there's any call, any call you need to make, God will make you. God will help you to do it, and you will not fold your hand. This prayer meeting will grow, and by the Bible, let me know upon you I will build my rock. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Uh, Pastor Ali, right of all, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Because you said in your word, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sake, he became poor, that we through his poverty may be rich. Jesus has bought everything on the cross on our behalf. Oh Lord, we are asking, we are praying that beyond our expectation, every brother, every sister, we pray to be blessed financially in Jesus' name. Amen. Not ever. No wonder the Bible says, for Christ has redeemed us from the cross of the Lord. That the blessing of Abraham mm -hmm. may come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. And if ye be in Christ, are ye Abraham's seed? Eh, according to his promises, we are standing upon the unbending poor word of God, unchanging poor word of God. We are asking, we are praying that the blessing of Abraham financially, spiritually, Physically, we pray, we ask as the seed of Abraham. We pray, release all those blessings that you overtake every one of us on this prayer altar in this prayer conference in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We know that we have you already. And we know that the adversary, <laughs> the, the devil cometh not to steal, he comes to steal salvation. He can't for still deliverance. He can't for still liberation. He can't for still our resources. He can't for still to keep and to destroy. The Bible says that Jesus come, came, that we may have him, life, and have it more abundantly. Many of us have life, but the abundant life we are asking for abundant life of peace, abundant life of plenty, abundant life of resources, abundant life. We are asking, we are praying this abundant life, oh God, let everyone possess the abundant life. Amen. Any fear, any unbelief, any doubt, we are asking the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. 
Jesus will flush it out. And for any brother, any sister on this prayer uh, platform tonight, hear me now, you are expecting financial breakthrough. You are expecting money to do one thing or the other. And it's not forthcoming. And you have been praying. You have been looking up to God. I decree in the name of Jesus. All entrances, all obstacles towards this to advancement, I remove it. And I decree power of God will move you forward. You will possess your possession. You will eat the rich of the Gentiles. And I pray strangers will build your wall for you in Jesus' name. Amen. As this blessing remains, it will be permanent. Thank Amen. you, Father. In Jesus' Lord. name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, I I want I want to share a big testimony for us and then uh, all of us know Rabbi Benjamin although he didn't let me to tell you but <laughs> it's something we must we cannot cover uh, you know him is a Benjamin Kevers uh, his junior brother is now the governor of uh, Taraba State uh, let us continue to pray for him. That's his junior brother. The Almighty God will continue to use their family in Jesus' name. And the grace yeah. of the Lord will be upon them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, the joy of the Lord will be their strength in Jesus' name. He will not yeah. fall. And as in that position, Almighty God will continue to promote him. We use him mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Jolly goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Uh, if there's any people you take note that they're still online today, please remind them and then remind them of Saturday. So, you too, please do what you can do to invite more people. And when you are inviting people, be there. God will help us in Jesus' name. Good night. God bless you all. Thank you, sir.